So we haven't heard much of like each of the artists on their own, but I feel like he from the rappers, he's the most experimental out of the ones we've heard. So we did our um wild based on this song, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And even on the um J. Cole song, it was like it was quite different. I remember being like, This doesn't this sounds like quite experimental mm. and it's still he still made it work. So I feel like that might be his style more. Do you think? Mm. You might be onto something, yeah. yeah. Alright bro, listen to this. So we're back again with some more K-pop and some more BTS to be specific or even more specific, uh, (laughs) the last BTS member we haven't done yet, which is J-Hope. So we have heard him before on the song he did with J. Cole uh, a little while back. We should do a reaction on that. Do you think people, people have been asking for it? Yeah. You guys have been asking yeah, for it. Yeah, let us so. know, guys, because Jay, Ho- Jay they Cole... They have already asked for it. Oh, they have? Yeah, yeah, we've asked for it. Okay, because Jay Cole is our favourite artist, so yeah. Jay Cole, Jay Hope, makes sense. Um, maybe but we should... This one's called More mm-hmm. from Jay Hope, and this was released a year ago. Yeah. And uh thought we may as well check out Jay Hope and see what he is on about. Pressure's on then, man, because all of them... But you were telling out. me earlier that he does, like, rapping and... Street dancing, right? I think he did street dancing, yeah, in an interview we watched a while back. But interesting. Let's just uh let's just get back onto it. This is J Hope. <laughs> He's aged me, not with the group, man. Stress him out. Oh, I love that. Uh, yeah, it's that cool, is isn't it? I love the beat. He's using well. old school beats old school, as well, right? Like 90s boom bap beat. Yeah. I yeah, that. and that any mini mini mo as well. Like, and he's gonna surf sick. on the beat and he's thirsty and his stuff first, like that. Yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. good that's so uh, that's so interesting though he says the joy the, his like joy in life is basically making someone's favorite song yeah it's quite cool i like that but 11 years so he's been rapping for 11 years mm. and i know a lot of rappers say as well it's like a craft that you have to perfect and you get just have to get better over time like yeah. your rhyme schemes become more complex you go from rhyming words to rhyming yeah, like whole lines isn't there like a really famous saying that to be a professional an expert in the field that you choose or any habit or any like new activity you pick up on you have to spend 10 years doing it really to be called an expert in it yeah, I wonder if that's just and 10 years, like a decade. It's said often of it, in like... Or if it's researched. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do you think there's research behind that or...? It's a very common saying yeah, okay. uh, in, in the business world. And I think it's based on like new skills you pick up. Like, for mm-hmm. example, if you want to start coding, once you've done 10 years of it, it's based on the amount of hours, which equates to 10 years. Yeah, yeah. If you break it down with the working days and stuff. But once you have spent that many hours doing it, you can be called an expert and professional. But those hours you be spend doing just that yeah, and yeah. learning about Makes that. Sense. So eleven years of this, you can tell like he's up there already, like with 100%. the wordplay. And like he's throwing in the like onomatopoeia. He's mm. like very smooth on the beat yeah. and all of that. But yeah, let's get into it. If you're liking this video and you want more ride and rhyme, check out our Patreon. Here's a clip. What we know as K-pop now really started in the early nineties. No way. But then came Sakura Boys. We combine Korea's pop music with the Western influences of rap, rock, techno, and R and B. Ah, respect to them, the man. They're doing it in suits as well. But bro, bro this is bro. as old as hip hop, which started like late eighties, early nineties. Late eighties, early nineties, and yeah. this what started early in nineteen ninety two. Interesting. 
that's a crazy fusion with rock. Yeah, from like it's very random, but yeah, from hip hop, like works, that kind of it? beat. Yeah, yeah it, it worked as well. Like. It reminds me a bit of something that stray kids would do. Mm. Where they do the Marla Marla taste yeah. genre and then they just like mix it up, mix it up completely. But he smashed it. It works really it well. well. Yeah, like it's literally fused into that beat mm -hmm. with the hip hop beat, the rock. It's I wonder amazing. if it goes back to the hip hop beat now. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. let's see. So we haven't heard much of like each of the artists on their own, but I feel like he from the rappers, he's the most experimental out of the ones we've heard. So we did our um wild based on this song, yeah, yeah, exactly. And even on the um J Cole song, it was like it was quite different. I remember being like, this doesn't, this sounds like quite experimental, mm. and it's still he still made it work. So I feel like that might be his style more. Do you think? Mm. You might be onto something. Yeah. yeah. Video is bare random as well. What was in that box? Is that, no. Is that, Is that the place he was yeah, shooting at? It yeah, it's all the different locations he shot. How interesting. Is he going to step on it? Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought he's going to step on it. <laughs> what do you think of that one then, man? I liked it. Um, but I feel like we need to check more of his songs to get a better... No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> to get a better idea of um, if that's really his play mm -hmm. style of music or if this is just one of those songs he was experimenting with. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's very I creative. I like the merge with the rock and the... Yeah, the music video itself was quite creative with the effects he's done. Like, yeah, yeah. It looked it reminded me of um, um, X Men. You know that scene. I know what you mean. It's pizza. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know which one you mean. Yeah, 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 that was so sick. Like it was great, and I think that was quite similar. The effect they did. I was thinking how they actually get that done. Like, how would you actually do this effect? No idea. Because uh, no I come idea. from that creative background, right? So I also had to learn how to do these things. Like, I don't know how you even do that. Because it's all frozen you're asking in time. The wrong, you're asking the wrong yeah, person. Yeah, no, it's all frozen in time, but the camera's panning at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but yeah. interesting. But what do you think? I think you're right. I, he's very creative. I think this is going to be his style. Maybe I'm jumping the gun by assuming. But based on this and the J. Cole song, I think mm. that is going to be his style. Whereas, like, it's, m it's more like an all-round. So the music video is very important to him. Um, the, like mixing of different genres is kind of important to him that kind of thing whereas I think like for example Augusti was way more into the lyrics and straight rap mm. is kind of the vibe I got but let us know guys maybe maybe that's a wrong impression we definitely need to check out we should check out stuff. more to do that yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah and I would say we start with the J-Hope J-Hope Cole one as well yeah that's yeah yeah let us know if you want to see that as well and uh, let's see what's next mm -hmm.